Welcome to Cigar Box Nation TV. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Shane Spiel and welcome to Cigar Box Nation TV. You know how it goes. The first two minutes we always vamp. I'm going to vamp just a little bit more here. <laughs> So, wow, we've got everywhere from Pittsburgh to Sweden in the house. Welcome. This is going to be a special episode of Cigar Box Nation TV. Let me turn my amp down. And uh, instead of doing more of the Americana Month, I'm breaking away from it today to do something just a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be talking about songwriting. And the reason I want to talk about songwriting is yesterday... I turned the camera on as I performed live in downtown York, Pennsylvania. Uh, I had a, an afternoon gig that I booked a long time ago and figured, you know, I was out there playing, I might as well turn the camera on. And Giddy shared it to Cigar Box Nation here. Uh, I'm going to be brutally honest about, about that performance. Um, I felt like I phoned it in. I felt like the performance was substandard. It was sloppy. And the reason why is because I've been playing the same songs over and over again for the past two years. And I haven't taken time out to get into songwriting. And it is time for me to get back into writing a new album. Uh, so instead of me just doing it on my own, I'm going to talk about techniques, my little tricks, my techniques, my cheats that I use for writing songs and I'm not just talking about how to how to play guitar uh, and we've done so much of that we've given you the chord charts we've given you the scales no let's take this deeper how do I write a song and uh, today I, I don't know how many of these episodes I'm gonna devote to songwriting we'll see how today goes um, but I have a few different ways that I go about writing lyrics and it seems like whenever I write lyrics um, the rhythm of the song and sometimes even kind of like the melody of the song happens all at the same time. Um, get in there. There we go. This is... Um, this is a guitar I'm going to be using to talk about two songs that I wrote in the past, and uh, then we're going to get into talking about a song that I'm currently working on. Um, this is a three-string cigar box guitar made by Pat Cook uh, out of Arizona, and it's got a dobro cone on the inside. It's a great piece of... It's loud enough that I don't need to amplify it for this broadcast, and it's still out of tune and it's driving me nuts. Hold on one second. Welcome to new people tuning in. Uh, we got uh, Leeds UK, Darren Smith, live at Leeds. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the guitar that I use for two of two songs that I'm very proud of, Mother Leads and Tattoo of You. Both songs are off of my album, 12 Stones. Uh, you can download that album at shanespiel.com. I sell the downloads over there. But um, Mother Leads and Tattoo of You both have some deeper songwriting lyrics than I've done, uh, for, exi for example, some of the later stuff I've done in with the Snake Oil Band. Um, both of these two songs are storytelling songs. And I thought I'd give you some just quick cheats and, ch and tips on how I made these and how you can do your own. Now, songs don't write themselves. I don't care what Robert Plant says. I don't care what anyone else says. Songs don't write themselves. It takes preparation. And these are the, some of the things that I do to prepare for writing songs. Number one, um, I'm always filling my life with different subjects, reading different things. Um, Mother Leads is a song about, of all things, the Jersey Devil. Um, I wanted to write a song that had a blues feel to it, but it didn't deal with any kind of subjects usually heard in blues music. And uh, the song was inspired by a book I read called The Field Guide to North American Monsters. <laughs> a buddy of mine is a Bigfoot researcher. And... Although I think that's almost batshit crazy, I, I love the idea. And he had sent me this book that was about um, all the different myths, uh, animals in North America. And one of them was the Jersey Devil. And being that I'm in Pennsylvania and I'm pretty close to New Jersey, uh, yeah, I kind of paid attention to this story. And it tells a story about Mother Leeds, this woman from the 1700s. She had 12 children, and on the 13th child that she got pregnant with, she cursed the baby during childbirth. And I loved it. I, I, this was a fascinating story. So I was always looking for different, different subjects, different things, and this was one that popped in my head. For this song, for Mother Leads, this entire song started with one line. As I was reading the book, a, a line hit my brain, and it had a rhythm to it. And that line was, Nobody knows what Mother Leeds said when she cursed her newborn child. And for me, you know, I spent my early years as a drummer in school, in, in junior high and such. Um, so rhythms, anytime words come in a rhythm, I pay attention to it. And when you think about that, nobody knows what Mother Leeds said when she cursed a newborn child. It was like, wow, that's just... That's something I should use. So I wrote it down. And quite honestly, I wrote it down and I put it away for a while. Um, and it it was probably about a year or two later until I finally wrote the song. So, okay, for that song in particular, I started with a line. Have you ever been driving down the road and think of a cool line for a song? Don't let it go. Write it down. Put it in your back pocket. Even if you don't get to it now. You'll get to it later. And let me repeat something. Um, what I'm teaching you here with songwriting is not the be-all, end-all way to write songs. It is just different, certain little ways that I come about doing it. There are a million different ways to write a song, but some of these ways that I'm giving you are just tips that you can use. So if you ever have a line for a song that's never been written, write it down. You could always get back into it. So let's talk about um, Mother Leeds. I had this line, nobody knows what Mother Leeds said when she cursed a newborn child. Um, I wanted to use that in a song. I also loved the idea of having the title, Mother Leeds. That sounds like a good title for a song. Um, and that's important to me, having a good title. Uh, so as I was writing that album... I had all that historical information about Mother Leeds, and as I was sitting there, it was like, okay, now I have to write out the verses for this. Everybody pay attention. Listen to me right now. This is one of the biggest tips I will ever give you for writing songs, for writing lyrics. Use a rhyming dictionary. Go to Google. 
Google rhyming dictionaries, or just go to rhymezone.com. That's R H Y M E Z O N E.com. That is going to be your greatest resource for writing lyrics. Okay? So, Mother Leads. I had the, the rhyming dictionary beside me, and if I would come up with a line, that last word of the line uh, is what I would type into the rhyming dictionary, and that would help me, looking at all the other options, um, help me write the lyrics. And my first lyric for it was New Jersey's Bleeding from the, from the Pines down to the Coast. Okay, Coast. I gotta, I'll gotta put that in rhyming dictionary. And then, okay, what's my next line? Someone saw a demon while another thinks they saw a ghost. There's bat wings in the air and a devil in the wild. Nobody knows what Mother Leeds said when she cursed her newborn child. So I'm using that rhyme dictionary to help me with the, the in-between verses, the things that I'm not sure of. I'm going to stop for Mother Leeds for a second. We're going to get back into it because I'm writing a song right now, and I'm using Rhyme Zone. In fact, I wrote these lyrics 20 minutes ago. Um, there's a song that I want to write, uh, another historical song, and this one is completely different, not about Jersey Devils, not about Tattoos of You. It's about the greatest pitcher ever in baseball, Satchel Paige. Um, Satchel Paige was part of the Negro Leagues back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Uh, he was then finally brought into the major leagues. It took the guy 23 years of professional baseball playing to be called a rookie in the major leagues, and the guy was just phenomenal. So what I did was I knew I wanted to write a song about Satchel Paige, so I read his autobiography. Yes, I read an entire book just to write one song. So, as I was reading that book, I took notes as I was reading, and these are my notes saying different things, and like Mother Leads, I got a line in my head, a rhythmic line, and that line was, even Babe Ruth didn't want to bat against Satchel Paige, and to me that had that rhythm. <laughs> You know, just even Babe Ruth didn't want to bat against Satchel Paige. So, as I was writing Satchel Paige today, and I've got the first, what I call, shitty rough draft. You're allowed to write the worst rough drafts in the world. Just write them. And um, so I went to Rhyme Zone, and I dialed up the word page. And it gave me all these different words that rhyme with page. You know, and I'm, I'm looking at my computer right now, right over here, and it says age, cage, gauge, uh, you know, rage, sage, blah, blah, blah. So being that I had all these words that rhymed with page, I'm looking at them and it's like, what words could I use for there for the last word of a, of a line that would help me with the in-between verses? And here's what I got. There's fear in the eyes of the man inside the batting cage. The diamond's like a furnace, and the crowd is like a pressure gauge. The outfield's feeling lonely, as the pitcher owns the stage. Even Babe Ruth didn't want to bat against Satchel Paige. Now, I'll say that those lyrics are very, it's almost identical in meter to Mother Leeds. Because sometimes if you find something good that works... You can use that, 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 that feeling again for different songs. You tweak the song, the next song you change the music. But rhyming dictionaries are essential to me. Uh, Zach just posted that there's some good rhyming dictionary apps for your mobile devices. I agree. For me, I like to sit there with my laptop and, uh, and I'll just go and use it from there. So for what I was, wor for what I was working on today, I rhymed with Paige. And I got an entire verse. In fact, that may even be a chorus. You never know. Getting back to Mother Leeds. Mother Leeds goes something like this. Jersey's bleeding 
came from the pines up to the coast. Someone saw a demon, while another thinks they saw a ghost. Bat wings in the air, and a devil in the wild. Nobody knows what Mother Lead said, which cursed newborn child. Was a 13 son born to a common man Down in a common town, born in a barren land Soon it became a thing they all reviled Nobody knows what Mother Lead said, which cursed newborn child Oh, Mother Leeds, you spewing curses while New Jersey bleeds Oh, what they say Make that monster kill Make that monster kill Today Okay, so, um Was a thirteenth Was a thirteenth child born into a common man Down in a common town Born in a barren land Soon it became a thing they all reviled Nobody knows what Mother Lee said when she cursed a newborn child. That line right there made me happy. When I saw the word reviled in the rhyme for child, it was like, yes, that is a strong poetic word. Soon it became a thing they all reviled. Nobody knows what Mother Lee said when she cursed a newborn child. So I wrote the lyrics to that, and you can explore that song again. It's on my album, 12 Stones. Download it at shanespiel.com. Um, and then Charles asked, you know, we're going to skip ahead a little. Charles just asked, well, how do you come up with music once you get the, uh, once you get the lyrics down? Well, I gave you my basic uh, ideas for the lyrics. You know, the rhyming dictionaries, the, the meter, and we, I, you know, we can probably get into a lot of detail with lyric writing, but the biggest thing I wanted to tell you about was the rhyming dictionary and starting off with a cool line. You want to know my secret for how do I put the music there? The best songs ever written, the most popular songs, have the easiest music. Richie Blackmore is known as one of the greatest rock guitarists of all time. He plays incredible music, and they're blazing up and down the fretboard. What is Richie Blackmore known for? Tommy Iommi of Black Sabbath is another incredible guitarist. He has played some killer riffs. What is he known for? <laughs> Hold on one second. We got uh, somebody just said that my video froze there. Can you guys see the video? Sorry. Uh, okay, we got thumbs up. We're good. Okay. So if Tommy Iommi is known for Iron Man and Richie Blackmore is known for Smoke on the Water, it tells me something that sometimes I need to stop overthinking my music. Okay. Tattoo of You is the greatest example of my music, of my songwriting, that shows the easiest riffs can make the most convincing music. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to come up with riffs. I'm going to be telling you, as you guys are sitting around your living room and playing, if you play something pretty, pull out your cell phone and videotape yourself playing that pretty riff. Start collecting riffs like you would collect baseball cards. If there's something you play that you like it, then just save it and put it aside. Tattoo of You. I wrote the lyrics to Tattoo of You, and I could totally get into that whole song, lyric writing, and maybe I will eventually. Um, but I wrote a beautiful set of lyrics that I'm very proud of. So when it came to writing the music to it, I wanted to give something so simple that the words would come forth and people would be listening to the words. Tattoo of You is played with two fingers. The, whenever I originally recorded it, I played the entire song on this guitar with two fingers. And it was played like this.
I got a tattoo of you way back in 44. Just a young sailor heading to a bloody war. Tattoo was amazing, you were looking so fine. You had flowers in your hair and soft and curvy lines. And I wore it like a badge, baby. Yeah, I wore it like a medal of honor. I got a tattoo of you, so everyone can see I belong to you, girl You belong to me Sorry about my vocals, it's a little early, but gives you the idea. I wrote simple, or I wrote beautiful lyrics, and so I just did a simple riff on top of it that was just... Sometimes you don't need to overthink your music. Now, a lot of us play blues, and we'll just do the old... And that's fine if you're doing straight 12-bar blues. But I'm kind of talking about a little bit of a deeper song craft. Um, and the way I grew up learning to play guitar, I grew up in a world of Ted Nugent. Not, not the politics... But if you want to hear the greatest guitar riffs of all time, you study Ted Nugent. Because everything Ted Nugent does is just riffs. Everything, you know, is just based on him just going off and coming up with a riff and then recording a song around it. Um, so I grew up with that riff rock. A lot of metal that I was into in the 80s and 90s was based on just simple riffs, repeating things. Um... Let's get back to Mother Leeds. We talked about how I used this, the story of the Jersey Devil um, to write the lyrics. So whenever I wanted to do the song, the lyrics were great. So let's let the... Um, and the lyrics were also rhythmic. So let's let the music be as rhythmic as the lyrics. And my God, it is... Mother Leeds is one of the easiest songs I've ever written to play. It's in this same guitar the tuning is e e b e e b and all that song is is so it has once i get it going it has a rhythm i almost play it like i'm a drummer From the pines up to the coast. And you see that? For this song, I even don't even play whenever I'm singing. I'm just letting the guitar be the drums and I'm almost rapping over it. Because let's face it, I am not a good singer. Half of my songs are what, you know, kind of like Bob Dylan, you know, speak sings over his stuff or some, you know, that type of singer. That's what I am. I am not a good singer. So in a lot of these songs that are telling stories, I'll just let the guitar be the drums and have a simple riff here and there. New Jersey's bleeding from the pines up to the coast. Someone saw a demon while another thing say saw a ghost. Backwards in the air and the devil in the wild. Nobody knows what Mother Lead said when she cursed a newborn child. Mother Leeds Use few curses While New Jersey bleeds Oh, what they say Make that monster kill Make that monster kill Today There's not much to the song The, the riff is like a, a hook it's a great earworm. It just gets you going like that. And how did I come up with it? I screwed around in my living room with my guitar. And I was sitting there messing around, and I came up with this riff. And I told myself, let me save that. It may be good for something someday. So whenever I had the Mother Leeds lyrics, I remembered this riff I had. 
and like a, you know a Reese's peanut butter cup, you know chocolate and peanut butter they go great together. Well, those lyrics and this riff go great together. So that's how I did this. Um, let me see some of my other songwriting tips. Uh, going back to my sermon two weeks ago, stay curious. Uh, if you're having trouble writing songs, even starting. The, the fact is, you may just not have a good subject to write about. I mean, if you're sitting there wanting to write music and you're thinking, oh, I play cigar box guitar, I should play the blues and I should talk about my baby done left me. Well, then I don't know where to go with that. What I'm telling you is, I dare you not to write the blues, baby done left me. And I dare you to write about something that interests you. If you're into cars, you know, and you have a 1963 Chrysler Imperial. Why not write a song about it? You know, get an, an idea for the song, like, you know, where you're just... Uh, this car is possessed. Let's call that the title. This car is possessed. Go on Rhyme Zone. Search up possessed. What songs or what words rhyme with possessed? The, and that may inspire you to write a song about your 1963 Chrysler Imperial. Um, it, you know, get into different subjects. I have songs about cars. I have songs about everything from this tattoo I got of me and my wife. Well, it's actually Charlie Brown and a little red-haired girl, but that's what inspired my song, Tattoo of You. Uh, and just fill your life with different things. If you're reading books about you know, subjects that are not guitars. Use that. I mean, Giddy, I, you know, I talk to Giddy every day, and he's big time into uh, the history of where he grew up. Um, I know he went back to Ohio to get wood from the American Crayon Factory um, that he uses in his canjos. And uh, why not write a story about a worker in the Crayon Factory? Come up with a cool line for that. Um, just write stories, different things like that. So, I'm going to look at some of your comments. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Messimo just said, I know a person that did a song about fretting. Yeah, Giddy's writing that. Uh, I'm looking at your comments right now. Um, I don't see too many questions yet. Uh, Chuck Austin said, some of the best songs I've written were written as I was driving. I pulled over. And wrote the lyrics on the back of an envelope. Crossbones on my door is a blues song that got airplay on, on a station. He said, Chuck makes a great point. Um, sometimes when our brain is not engaged in songwriting, when we're driving or something, that's when the ideas come. Do not let those ideas go. Um, the biggest thing, people, we have cell phones. My washboard player, Ron Benway, calls it a magic brick. Never before in human history have we had such a powerful device that is sitting right beside us that we can just, as we're driving, just click on that and say, Siri, take a note. And then once it asks you, what do you want to say? Say your song lyrics as you're writing, you know, whatever. Just save these things. But if you're going to be writing songs, you need to be collecting ideas, collecting thoughts. And then it's not as hard to write the lyrics if you use a rhyming dictionary. Um, right now, I think that's the, the main points I'm going to make for today's broadcast. Um, let me give you, in order to uh, sign off here, I'm going to do the entire song, Mother Leads. Um, Mother Leads, again, tells the story of the Jersey Devil. I got the idea out of a book I read. And uh, so I wrote the lyrics to it. It started with the line in my head, nobody knows what Mother Leeds said when she cursed a newborn child. I wrote the music to it, and the music has a chugging rhythm. The song starts out, the intro to the song, I wanted it to be eerie. So it just starts out with this. So it starts out with an eerie sound. I wanted to set the pace for it. Um, and then in the uh, solo, it goes back to that type of riff. 
uh, as I do it live on stage now, the song has progressed and we do a lot more with it. In the middle of the song, I go into this strange, scary sounding Indian raga. I won't do it here right now. But let me give you the basis of Mother Leads. The song was written with a rhyming dictionary beside me and the idea of a, um, a, a, a just a, a cool line. Nobody knows what Mother Leeds said when she cursed a newborn child. Charles just asked if this is going on YouTube. We can probably save this on YouTube, um, but the, all these broadcasts are archived here at facebook.com slash Nation. so you can always come back and watch them here. Uh, and before I sign off, I do want to thank cbgiddy.com. It's backwards right here because Facebook still hasn't figured out how to make their videos right. cbgiddy.com. Uh, it's where I get all my guitar parts. Uh, Scott just asked, can Mother Leads be played in GDG? You know what? Any song can be transposed. You put your own spin on it. You know, do your best. I've played cover songs of other people's works in different keys with different guitars. So I'm sure if you tried, you could figure out Mother Leads in GDG. I've never played it that way, but go ahead and try it for yourself. So my name is Shane Spiel. This is Cigar Box Nation TV. Today we're talking on, song, on songwriting, and I'm ending it with the song I was talking about, Mother Leads, from my album 12 Stones. And it goes like this. Jersey's bleeding from the pines up to the coast. Someone saw a demon wound, another thing they saw a ghost. That one's in the air and the devil in the wild. Nobody knows what Mother Lead said when she cursed a newborn child. Was their teen son born to a common man? Down in a common town, born in a barren land. Soon it became a thing they are reviled. Nobody knows what Mother Lee said, which cursed newborn child. Oh, Mother Leeds, you spewing curses while New Jersey bleeds. Oh, what they say, make that monster kill. Make that monster kill today. Yeah, kill its brothers first. Each one laying dead. Midwife screamed while a poor boy's bled. Then it flew to Barrington to paint the town red. Nobody knows what Mother Lee said. Nobody knows what Mother Lee said. Oh, Mother Leeds, you spewing curses while New Jersey bleeds. Oh, what they say, make that monster kill. Make that monster kill today. Oh, look out. Pines up to the coast. Someone saw a demon, while another thing say saw a ghost. Backwards in the air, and a devil in the wild. Nobody knows what Mother Lead said, which cursed newborn child. Backwards in the air, and a devil in the wild. Preacher, praise to God, help me, while the body's piled. Nobody knows what Mother Lead said. Nobody knows what Mother Lead said, which cursed newborn child. No one knows what Mother Leeds said. Oh, Mother Leeds, you spewing curses while New Jersey bleeds. So, what they say, make that monster kill. Make that monster kill.
monster kill today. Mother Leeds. Guys, good luck songwriting out there. Do it. Try it. I don't care if your first song is the most horrible thing you've ever written in your life. Just write it. You can go back and edit it. Write your own music. We want to hear it. We want to hear your music as much as we want to see the instruments you're building. Get out there. Write new music. Try it. You know what? There are so many different websites out there for songwriting and everything else. My basic tip to you is start with a rhyming dictionary and start with an idea. And it doesn't have to be blues, my baby done left me. Um, you guys can do it. There's so many great players out there. And just please write your own music. Yeah, I'm going to keep pushing for you guys to do this. And then once you guys write your own music, then I'm going to be pushing you guys to record your own albums but that's a few steps down the road so good luck everyone um you can continue to ask questions here i'll be able to see the comments after i log off um and i'll do my best to answer them but you know with my song craft it's all about preparation coming up with the idea and then the execution is sitting there with a uh, rhyming dictionary and trust me sometimes it's like bloodletting you know, it takes a while to write some of these lyrics. Other times they come a little quicker, but you can do it. If I could do it, and I'm a, I'm a putz, if I could do it, you can do it. So thanks to CB Giddy for sponsoring this broadcast. Um, and thanks to Cigar Box Nation as well. My name is Shane Spiel. I am here in my home studio, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you guys.